Welcome back to What Happens If, the only channel on YouTube where we discuss what happens if. Now, I want you to imagine a separate world, a very similar world, but a very parallel world indeed, where you look over to your left and your beautiful dog Fluffy, or perhaps his name is Goldie, as that was my old dog's very creative name, and instead of being a very cute, very fluffy dog, he is in fact a massive 350-pound obese linebacker spider the size of an elephant that has tree trunks for legs and foot-long fangs. Yes, we will be discussing what happens if spiders were absolutely massive. Number one. Now, if spiders were absolutely massive, they would have to make a lot of structural changes to their bodies. At current size, they would not be able to support their whole massive 350 pound weight. So when it comes down to it, they would have to grow a very thick steel-like legs, and their fangs would grow out to be actually over a foot long in some cases. Now, here's the thing. Spiders would really struggle with this new body weight and would actually become a lot less agile, a lot less fast than their current form. Number two, at current size, spiders have absolutely no difficulty taking down other little insects about two times their size. So you can imagine that as soon as a spider gets to the size of your dog or cat, little fluffy over there, they would absolutely have no difficulty taking you down. So what does that mean for the human race? Well, it means that we're gonna all have to look like characters from Game of Thrones or The Lord of the Rings because we're all gonna be wearing head to toe chain mail. Yes, that's right. Your little skin is no protection for foot long fangs. In fact, they're gonna have absolutely no difficulty cutting through like slicing through butter, hot butter indeed. Number three. Now, spiders can produce and breed much more rapidly than any human female can, and sorry, I should not gender stereotype in a channel like this. Yes, it's just faster than any human can. And how fast can a human do it? Well, about once every nine months, whereas a spider can produce thousands of babies in just one lifetime. Now, before we get into number four, I want to remind you that the best and only way to keep up to date with what happens if is to actually like and subscribe this video right here, right now, because that will be, and that will keep you in the loop on what happens if so you can be the one to know. Now, number four. With spiders becoming gigantic, their predator-like bristles, their little bristles on those legs, those hairy legs that people refer to, would be able to smell and detect human prey from up to half a mile away. Yes, so they can run 20 miles and they can see you and they can smell you from 20 miles away. Number five. Now, as spiders transform into these absolutely massive 350-pound behemoth monstrosities, well, their fangs would be, as we said, about a foot long. So, really, when it comes down to it, there'd be no amount of bulletproofing that could really save you from a strike from those. However, if you were to be stricken by one of those massive fangs, the venom would likely kill you before you even hit the ground. Number six, at current size, spider silk is quite robust. Yes, in fact, it's actually six times stronger than steel. So you can imagine <laughs> if spiders were to grow these 350 pound monstrosities of creature-like formations, well, <laughs> you're gonna have your work cut out for you if you get caught into a web. In fact, you're gonna have absolutely no, no luck getting out of them unless if you have some sort of a lightsaber. But assuming that you're not from the future or from a galaxy far, far away, well, once you get caught in that web, you are not getting out. And now for number seven of what happens if spiders were absolutely massive 350 pound bohemoth monstrosities, would the human race be extinct or not? Well, unless humans can migrate to climates where spiders can't actually exist like the North or South Pole, you know, good old Santa Land, unfortunately, humans would be absolutely no match for spiders. In fact, all species would be no match for spiders. They would not only outpopulate every species, but our puny human skin would be no match for those vicious, monstrous fangs. Yes, again, we would stand absolutely no chance. And unfortunately, in doing the research for this video, I found out that some spider species are actually hydrophobic. What does that mean? Might you ask? 
well, I'm glad you asked, because spiders can actually walk on water like Jesus himself. So just after a few short years, they're probably going to smell us from, from not too far away and just walk their little eight legs across the, uh, across the seven seas and, <laughs> and finish the rest of us off. So the real question of this video and what I want to know from you in the comments down there is spiders, are spiders Jesus? And what species would be most Jesus-like? Let me know in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing your comments soon. And also, please do let me know what would you like to know what happens if, because I'm listening and we will create more videos every week just for you. Take care and see you soon.